Hello world, I'm Rich, and it's Rich's World Beer Tour over at Pete's house. We're kegging. Kegging uh, a couple of beers that we did uh, about a month or so ago, getting ready for my son's wedding. So, got to have some beer ready. And guess what? Stout month is done. <laughs> really? So, enough of this big beers, big stout, barrel aged, all this stuff. We're going to review something that Pete got. Oh, it is a barrel. Oh, well, <laughs> let's stay with the theme. Barrel aged. Let's stay with the theme we like. Barrel aged, double shot, double black. Black ale aged in oak barrels with vanilla beans and coffee added. This is from Bent Paddle, our friends up in Duluth. Um, now, I reviewed this two years ago, I think, and it was just barrel aged, double black. Now, this is double shot. I didn't read the old label. I've still got uh, an old bottle of that, but this is a double shot of cold pressed coffee and whole bean vanilla. So I think that's a change from the past recipe. I love that old one and I think we shared a oh, bottle. Yeah. So um, my brother Joe, Joe thanks for uh, setting us up uh, with a few bottles here. Let me get a little pour here. I'm not sure if that's black enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's so black it goes to 11. <laughs> That's what you're looking at. Just a dark mocha, I'm not calling it brown, but it's it's between brown and tan in your uh, Crayola crayon box, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I poured pretty aggressive, so I got a little more froth on top. Yeah. Just a gorgeous, and the lighting's kind of funny with the lights we're using, but God bless it, that looks good. <laughs> wow, coffee. See, my, the first two things I got were bourbon and, and vanilla. And you get down, yeah. get my nose down in a little further, and oh, I get the bourbon, bourbon right away. <laughs> bourbon is huge. It smells so warm. You know, I had the vanilla, and then the, the bourbon took over. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Swirl it and get that vanilla right back at you. Yeah. Oh, that smells good. It'll stick into the glass. Yeah. We've had a couple of, we've been uh, bottling, or uh, kegging today, so we've had a couple of tastes of, uh, a, pay, a couple pale ales we do. I wonder if this will have enough body for I you. I think this will <laughs> probably outmatch those. Let's give it a try. Cheers. <laughs> Here we go. Nice body. That's wow. the body I wanted. <laughs> We are just talking about body and beer. Give me your first reactions and I'll... Wonderful mouthfeel. Really nice mouthfeel. Nice carbonation. Starts off with uh, a little bit of the bourbon and coffee and finishes with the bourbon and vanilla where the vanilla kind of mellows the, the bourbon flavor. You know, one of the things I've, well. I've liked about the beers during Stout Month, yep. some of them just coat your mouth and leave all this flavor and this, this yep. thin coating of chocolate love. And you, <laughs> This thing, you drink it, it slides right down, it's gone. There, there's no, not a lot of, there's a little bit stuck in your mouth, yeah, but I've not a lot. It's, it's just smooth. It's maybe slick. compared to the ones you've had. Maybe. This certainly compared to what we were sipping on earlier oh, is coating my mouth. Night and day, but yeah. it's not staying with you like ooh, a creamy ooh. coating. This is, is slick and smooth. See the lingering flavor I've got is the coffee. And it's and cold press. I'm not a coffee guy. I love coffee in my stouts, you know, yep, either the yep. coffee grounds that acidic or the real smooth finish. This is a smooth finished coffee. Maybe that cold press, maybe that's what that is. It leaves me with that coffee wow. flavor. The vanilla, I did I did hear one, some person, uh, I said we were getting some bottles. He goes, oh, it's a little too vanilla-y. And he had it on tap. He didn't have it in a bottle. That was mm. the only feedback I've had of this, other than my brother, who says in all capitals, we love it. Um, Damn, this is good. <laughs> I get a little vanilla. I definitely get that coffee. The bourbon is subdued. I thought, you know what, a fresh bottle, and this spends, I've heard, five months in the bottle, or in the in the barrel. In the barrels. 
Um, just was released uh, in late January, early February, somewhere in there, a um, couple of weeks ago. So we've had this a couple weeks. Sometimes the bourbon gets really hot. This bourbon is it is big on the nose. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you but can certainly subdued. taste it, that it's there, but it is not overpowering. I'm harsh. feeling I'm <laughs> feeling the warmth. I did not give 11.2 percent ABV. Yeah. Um, which I think is a little higher than what it was two years ago. I think that was in the 10 percent range. 10, 10 5? Something like that, as I remember. So this is a little hotter. I feel it. I haven't had lunch yet, that's why I think I'm feeling a little warmth. This is a sipper. This is an enjoyable beer. Um, damn. <laughs> um, really good. I hate to do, you know, stuff, you know, could you improve it? I don't know. For what for what it is, it, this is a this is a 10. I, I I I forget what I did the other. And I went into this a little skeptical just because that guy said real hot on the vanilla. Uh, not in this bottle. I, I wouldn't agree. Not in this bottle. No. This thing is dead on um, for a, an enjoyable, alcohol hidden, bourbon hidden, great black ale with coffee and vanilla. This just hits on all cylinders. And a great mouthfeel and great body. Oh man, this is. Um, if you get a, if you get a chance, folks, I'm sure it is hard to come by now. If you can beg, borrow, steal. Don't steal. Uh, trade for it. Um, do it. Throw out something and trade for it. I think this is well worth trying. If you get it, share it with a friend. Man, this is, it'd be great to have a bottle to yourself, but uh, this is a share one. Uh, barrel aged, double shot, double black. Black ale aged in uh, oak barrels. Jesus. Black ale aged in oak barrels with vanilla beans and coffee added. Bent paddle brewing. Duluth, Minnesota. That's what you're looking for. This is, I don't know, what, give me your rating. That's where I am too. Do you think she's, uh, I don't know how you could improve this one. No. I, I really, some of you guys locally who watch, uh, I'm sure you've got a bottle. Crack it open and let, let us know if, if we're way off on this or uh, if you agree. But this is, this is a winner. If you can get it, grab it. Hey, Ben Paddle, thank you. Uh, Joe, thanks for hooking us up, man. Appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Thanks for sharing another beer with us, world. Cheers. Cheers.